Okay, I'm gonna be changing out the hydraulic oil in this uh, Mahindra 1626. So for the front axle, we have a drain plug, which is this guy right here. And then there's two more drain plugs, one on each of the axles here. So there's one all the way at the bottom there and on the opposite side. Right here, okay, we have our fill plug. And to, to figure out how much oil we're actually gonna put in this, you have these guys right here. These, you, you pull these bolts, and that's uh, to check the level of your fluid, one on each side. Okay, before I drain this, I just wanna show you what it looks like. So I pull that off. You're not going to be able to see that as good as I can, but the, the fluid is right there on the threads. So that's when you know it's, it's full. Now I'm not going to tell you what brand fluid I'm going to use. I will tell you that Mahindra, they don't have their own hydraulic fluid, so what they do, they make recommendations on which fluid you can use. And based off of that, you can make your judgment. If you're looking for something, you could always cross-reference it based on what that fluid is. My tractor is an HST or hydrostatic transmission. Uh, so there's this uh, another filter you have to remove and This one's located uh, on the, the pasture side right by the back tire Okay, underneath the tractor, looking back. This right here is your main drain plug for your hydraulic oil. <laughs> okay, along with the main oil drain plug right there, there's also five more. Okay, two on each side. So you have one on each hub, that's that guy. And then right up here, I'll show you that. There's the other one. So one, two, three, four. And of course five. You're fine. Okay, here's your main hydraulic filter. It's right under the driver's side step. Okay, now that the, the front is all filled, I can now take my bucket and start filling up the main reservoir. Uh, hydrostatic transmissions take 36 quarts, and your, your shuttle shifts take 35. And the front is 4.2. Okay, once you think you have enough oil in there, you wanna start it up, because you're gonna have air pockets, right? Because of those, uh, those filters. So start it up, run the hydraulics a little bit, and then uh, check your oil, you're all set.